What's up everybody, Serpents over here and I am back with some really old wheat pennies that I would like to share with y'all. Just picked up out of some pocket change within the past week or so. We got a 1937 that we're adding to the collection. And uh, we got a few 36s, honestly. It sure seems like 37 and 36 are some of the more um, attainable years, I would say, if you're still hunting wheat pennies. This one, I don't know if that's a clip or just some damage. You can find them clipped sometimes where they used to cut. So I guess it would just like be bent off or whatever and that little mark would still be there. Um, they're worth a little bit more whenever they're clipped. So yeah, a little bit of uh, information for somebody, anybody. We got a 1920 here. This thing's over 100 years old. Oh man, it's got this thing on the back. Yeah, this is the one with that on the back. But yeah, she is nice and old. <laughs> Not pretty on the back, but nice and old. Got like five or six new 37s in this past week. Yep, 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 yep. I love wheat pennies. Got this steel. Got two new steel ones, two new 43s. This one's definitely had seen better days, but I like old coins that have character. I mean, you can tell that this has been through something. You can tell this has been through, you know, 100,000 or more hands. You know, it's just amazing. And I'm sure along the way, there's been a lot of people oohing and on at the fact that it's a 1943. Yeah. Really awesome coins. Hope y'all have a really awesome day. You know, I'm going to try to do the same. You know what I'm saying? We got some 1955s here too. I've been really uh, trying to find a 1955 with some double die. I think the closest thing that I got to uh, some double die 55s, one of these will have, um, you'll be able to see something at the bottom of each. And I can't really tell if that is a double die or not. We'll see if I come across it in this video. If not, it might be somewhere else. Yeah, these are all perfectly struck 55s. And then one of them, yep, yeah, that one's a good one. One of these, whenever I get it on a different angle, looks like it has, it's offline or something like that. Like the way it's supposed to be lined up, it was just a hair one way. 1955s. Yeah, I got like four or five new 55s. Fifty-five Denver. I really just love wheat pennies. Any any kind of coins at this point, I just love. I mean, man, a lot of new 55s. <laughs> yeah, I like all coins at this point, y'all. You know what I mean? We're definitely at the point where I'm just enjoying every single bit of coinery that I come across. Yeah, I uh, wanted to show y'all some of my order date. These are just brand, these are new to me, so they're going in my collection. I got a pretty nice collection of wheats at this point. You know, I got a few bags. I got a few random bag of wheats that are like this. that just say wheats on them. Just a lot of old, like 50. These are like mid 50s, a lot of them. Then I got all the older ones separated. I got a lot of wheat pennies in my book that are uh, really nice, choice wheat pennies, if you will. Yeah, that's where I keep my beautiful brand new 43. Also, I got a brand new 1943 that I made in previous videos. If you wanna see that, just scroll like five or 10 videos down and there's a nice video of it. I think I made a recent video of it because it was really nice. It's like a two or three thousand dollar coin when it's brand new. This coin right here is like a two or three thousand dollar coin, brand new, and graded. And uh, yeah. So if you ever come across one of these that are brand new, if you come across any that are brand new in general, they're worth 
something. A penny could a penny could be worth five dollars, or it could be worth a thousand dollars, or if you're very lucky, it could be worth a hundred thousand dollars. You never know. I really hope everybody has a great rest of their day, for real. And I'll uh, see you soon. Peace out, y'all.